What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today a really short and sweet one. Uh, I'm showing how I etch my Damascus. Um, it, I'm assuming this technique will work for pretty much all Damascus except like uh, stainless, damascus steel, stuff like that. But uh, this is ferric chloride acid. Um, you can get it uh, online in a lot of different places. I guess they sell it at like Radio Shack, stuff like that. Um, and what I do, I'm actually redoing my acid tank right now, and I thought it would make a good video real quick. But uh, I use mine for about four or five, six months is normally how long my acid lasts. Um, what happens is it starts to get to where it takes longer and longer to get the etch and darkness you're trying to get out of the Damascus. And after it takes you know, longer than what it should, throw it out, get some fresh stuff. So what I do is I buy these, uh, this is one liter, okay? And I mix it 50-50 with apple cider vinegar. And if you run this stuff just straight, it doesn't get you a really good dark etch. And when you add this vinegar to it, it actually really darkens up the Damascus and gives it a really cool look. So I'm gonna mix this up. All I do is I, I bought a little section of PVC I think this is three inch PVC and a cap and then a threaded cap up here to seal it off. Super cheap and it holds your acid good. You can tell this one's uh, nicely used. So I'm gonna mix this. Like I said, I do about 50-50. Um, and then I'll show you guys uh, quickly my uh, this knife I'm about to etch and uh, the process and everything like that. So hold on real quick and I'll show you guys. All right, so once you get your acid to where you've got it mixed up in your tank there, um, I like to use a little bit of acetone or lacquer thinner to clean your blade. Um, you got to make sure you get all the oils and everything off the blade before you etch it or else it'll be a little bit uh, uneven and it just won't turn out right. So as far as finishing the blade goes before cleaning, I take it to 800 grit most of the time. I hand sand it to 800 grit. I normally do a belt finish up to 400 um, and then go down to 220 and hand sand up to 800, if that makes sense. Um, and that seems to give me a pretty good contrast. And uh, I'm normally pretty happy with uh, the pattern and everything looks pretty good that way. Uh, sometimes what I do is I'll etch it at 800 for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the acid, pull it out, and then go over and lightly hand sand over that to 1200, and then re-etch, and you get just a little more pop um, with those with those uh, different layers of steel, and it looks pretty good. This is uh, Alabama Damascus steel. That's primarily what I use. Um, I get pretty good results with it, and uh, it's affordable. I mean, it's Damascus is just outrageous. To buy it and they've got pretty good prices and overall pretty good quality so this is where it's at right now it's at 800 super clean and what i do is i take a little piece of wire and just thread it through you don't want you don't want any exposed like copper like this wire to go into your etching solution because it totally ruins it which i learned the hard way so I do like that and wrap it up. This is ready to dunk right now. Make sure you don't have any fingerprints or anything like that on it. Use a really clean rag that hopefully is pretty lint free. This had a couple little pieces of dust on it, but it looks like it's gonna be good to go. So what I always do is kind of dunk it in there. And uh, I'm probably gonna leave this for about, like I said, probably 10 minutes. Um, but you can already see with fresh, fresh acid, the etch happens super fast. And, and if you have old acid that you've used for a long time, um, it takes a lot longer to get any sort of darkness in it. So I'll sh I'm going to show you guys real quick what this looks like already. You can see I only dunked it for maybe 10 or 15 seconds, and this pattern is just killer. Dang, that's awesome. Looks super cool. So, yeah, it's hard to tell, but you can see it already has a really good contrast. All those layers are showing through really good. So I'm going to leave it in here for about 10 minutes, check it, and uh, I'll show you guys what I do uh, after that as far as finishing it goes and getting it ready to put handles on it. 
Okay, I'm gonna pull this knife out of the acid and show you guys what I do to uh, neutralize the acid real quick. You got a, a lot of people either, you can't see me, but uh, either use like a baking soda bath to neutralize the acid. Um, I've always just used uh, glass cleaner with ammonia in it. And uh, that seems to work pretty good for me. So, and you see what I'm doing? I'm basically just spraying this down really good. You wanna make sure you get it like really sprayed down, all the cracks and crevices, everything needs to be just totally soaked with this stuff or else, you, or else this acid will end up rusting the blade. And then uh, what I do is air dry it with just compressed air and then oil it. And I'll show you guys the process here real quick. It'll probably be loud when I kick this air compressor on, but. All right, once it's dried, I always just take a little uh, oil and this is just like three in one oil and really heavily douse it down, lightly spread it on there. And then I like to uh, let it sit for a day or two before doing any work with it to let those colors really set in good or else you can kind of actually rub the dark tones off a little bit and it's easier than you think. So just while you're putting the handles on and stuff, you end up bumping it and uh, discoloring it. So I pretty much oil the whole blade really good to just make sure no rust pops up over the next day or two and uh, let it sit then. And this is kind of what it should look like. It's not showing up super good, but you see a really good contrast between those layers. There you go. And with that fresh acid, you get a really nice dark edge. So, I don't know, the camera's not really picking it up as good as it should, but you guys get the idea of it. Um, all right, so that answers that question. If uh, you guys have any more questions or anything that you've seen me do that you want me to touch on a little bit better, drop it in the comments, send me a message, whatever it is. Um, pretty much every all these videos I've been doing are from people sending me a message saying, well, how do you do this or how do you do this step? And I'm trying to kind of slowly answer all the questions and put out some helpful videos. So thanks for looking. Make sure you subscribe and uh, have a good one.